Greetings, this video is to go along with using a, or creating, I guess, an amortization table to go with mortgages. Um, so the way that this Excel spreadsheet is set up, the formulas are already in there for you. You don't have to create any formulas. You're just going to focus on these colored pieces here. So in my example, um, I'm going to buy a $225,000 house. That's how much I'm going to borrow. And you can see when I typed in $225,000, it already brought it over to the balance. So it's set up to do this. Now my APR, I'm going to use 3.5%. I'm making these numbers up as I go, and I'm going to do a 30-year loan. Now you can see that it went ahead and filled in my payment. So my payment now is $1,010.35 per month. And you can see over here in columns uh, A through E that it has auto-populated these numbers for me. Now if I'm doing 30 years, let's think about this. How many total months are in 30 years? Well, 30 years times 12 months in a year, I need 360 months. So when I go over here to column A, I need this to go all the way down to 360. So I'm going to highlight, right? I'm going to just, just click in one and drag down to five. This, when I have the black plus sign here, I can click and drag. And this is going to autofill. And I'm going to go down to 361 because that will make my number end at 360. So now I have 360 months represented in my Excel document, which is a lot. And because these formulas are already here, I can go to the last one each column. Now that I have my months all the way to 360, I put the black plus sign there in the green, and I double click. And I do that for each one of these columns, and it's going to auto populate. And you can see now that it changes. So let's look at what these columns represent. The first one is our balance, our beginning balance of uh, at the month. So beginning of month one, I owe $225,000. My first payment, which we know the total payment was a little over $1,000. In my first payment, $656 of that went to interest, and only $354 went to the reduction in principal, right? Made my... Um, the value or the how much I owe to my house go down. So at the beginning, my new balance, right? So the new balance is found by taking the beginning balance minus the reduction in principal. This is how much I owe at the beginning of month two. And it works its way down the entire list. Now I can answer different questions about that. Like how much would I still owe after a year? Well, a year is 12 months. So after a year, I would still owe $220,000. Or when would I have paid half of my house? Well, if we think about it, 225,000 divided by two, half of my house would be 112,500. So if I would look for that number, I'm looking in, in column B for 1125. Hmm. Well, it looks like month 227 is the first time I get under 1125. So that's not you know, a little, uh, little shy of, of uh, oh my gosh, 20 years. So, um, you know, 18 years or so, but 227 months, it would take me to pay half of my house, which is more than half of my payment, right? Because you can see at this point now, I'm paying more in reduction in principal than I am in interest. Um, but if I want to find out how much total interest do I pay, remember that interest is column C. So if I go to the end of column C, I can use my formulas and I can use my sum feature. This is how much I paid just in interest, $138,726. So it's very, very, very crazy how much interest you pay. Because remember, you only borrowed $225,000, so you're going to pay back a lot. Now, if you decide, you know, hey, maybe I want to do this loan in 15 years instead of 30. Well, if I just change the 15, you can see how my payment went up, but also 15 years is 180 months. So if you go down to the, the 180, notice at the end of 180, I owe $0. So really everything 181 on is no longer needed. I can either delete it or I can just forget about it. And if you want to just forget about it, I could just right click on this column and insert a space. Maybe I want to insert two spaces, and that way, how much interest would I pay if I only did this uh, for 15 years instead of 30? Well, my interest, I'm only paying $64,000 in interest if I can pay my loan, uh, my, do, borrow my house money for 15 years instead of 30. So you can kind of play with it that way. And you can do other, other functions in Excel that we've done before. Um, but the key is recognizing that these numbers in A represent months. So if you're looking at 
you know, how much do I owe after five years? Well, how many months is that? Well, 12 times five, that's 60 months. So 60 months represents five years. I can't type. So, still can't type. So if I want to know how much do I owe after five years, well, go to 60 months. This is the end of five years. So after five years, I would still owe this amount of dollars. So you really kind of have to think through what the questions are asking and how they pertain to your um, your information. So hopefully this short video kind of helped navigate the amortization schedule assignment um, document in Excel. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks.